award-winning poet, playwright, artist, actor, activist, and author, the multi-hyphenate John Collins sits down with Raheem Brazil of the Raheem Brazil Show to discuss his latest work, God and Call Me Fag. What type of advice would you give to someone who uh, may be wrestling with themselves and are trying to, uh, and wrestling with their relationship as it pertains to God and their sexuality, and they're just trying to find the balance between the two because they love God, but they also, um, you know, there's a piece of them mm -hmm. that conflicts with that love. Mm -hmm. So they think because of what they've been taught or what they've been, you know, um, what society says about who they are. Right. You have to get into a place of solitude um, within yourself where it's just you and God. You have to remove yourself from a lot of the external um, situations and mm -hmm. people that are going to, you know, tell you what they believe, you know what I mean? But in your heart of hearts, you know who you are. You know what God has spoken to you about. You, Like I said, you have to really pay attention to that small, still voice. Right. It can get muted, you know, in a blink of an eye. So yeah. you have to go within yourself. Um, so you have to practice solitude. You have to separate yourself from people for a while in order to understand oh, that's good. who you are. Mm -hmm. Did y'all hear that? You got to separate yourself from people for a while. Mm -hmm. like, sometimes you ain't able to hear. Um, I appreciate that. Let these people know where to find the book. <laughs> where can we get the book? No doubt, no doubt. So um, the book will be available. The release date is actually um, May 26th. I'll be in Dominican Republic promoting the work. I um, see at that. The LGBT Jews and Culture Fest. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Greg Douglas. Shout out. Um, so May 26th it'll be available on iTunes as well as Amazon. Um, mm -hmm. You can get it in paperback form as well as um, ebook form. You can also get it from me. Um, okay. John Collins Presents at gmail.com. Just reach mm -hmm. out. That's my social media on IG. Um, John Collins Presents at gmail.com is my email address. You can reach me that way. Mm -hmm. um, I can send you a personalized copy, autograph, and yeah. So. That's dope. Yeah. Did you autograph mine yet? I did, sir. Okay, because I, I want to make sure <laughs> you got a special now. message in there for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I haven't gotten a chance to really open it, but I'm going to start reading mine tomorrow. No doubt. On my day off. <laughs> um, Baltimore. Hey, Baltimore. Be more. What's up? Oh, That's how you gotta talk to be more people. Mm -hmm. Be more. What's up? What's good? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you already know what's good. I was listening, trying to see where to get the book from. Cause you know the, the answer is a little delay. But I'm gonna have to get that later. Yeah. Uh, so he said you can go to John Collins Presents at gmail dot com. You can uh, go to his IG, which is the same. It's coming to Amazon and well itunes, iTunes on may 26 right yep yeah, may 26 may 26 and you also get it from him get your personalized copy well i know you're gonna get all this information for the brazilian answer. No, you, you already know how i do i ain't playing no games <laughs> We gonna read it together on live. <laughs> I love it. Love it. We gonna have a story time. We have a story time. That's what's up. You got a question? Do you have a question uh, for John? Yes. Yeah, okay. Have a what up, John? Uh, definitely. First of all, shout out. You know, thank you for using. You know, your voice and your gift as a platform is no definitely doubt. Thank you. in our community. So thank you for that. Thank you. You will. Um, also, uh, the question was, was there ever, like, a point where, I know for, like, myself, like, I was always the same. I felt confident in who I was. I didn't go through any, like, bullying or any child, like, any, you know, any, like, bad things happened to me in church. I grew mm -hmm. up in church. It was never an issue for me, but was there ever a point in your life where you just had to do what you knew that you had to do against the wishes of, you know, your family or things like that? What was that moment that made you say, I got to use my voice? Wow. Um, when I did Okay, so growing up, you know, I read Elin Harris, I had, to, I had to sneak those books into the house, <laughs> Invisible Life and things of that nature. Um, I didn't see myself in a lot, in, you know, in the pages of those books. So for me, it was like, once my mama found my journal, um, for me, that was like, okay, 
Yeah, I, I can't live under y'all rule. It's obviously something that's pulling me to be me. So at that point, you know, I felt like there's got to be other brothers that feel like this, that um, are trying to find themselves, that have been ostracized by family and life. You know what I mean? So I wanted to speak to who we are, you know, this day and age. Um, I wanted to... It, I guess when my mom found my journal, that was that was the point. That was the breaking point for me. It was like, you know what, it's me against the world at this point. So that's when I kind of, you know, felt like, yeah, I have to be the the face, the voice, somehow, some way. Because um, I, I can't be alone in this, you know. And there was nobody else, you know, at the time stepping up to the plate mm -hmm. to tell, you know, our story. So mm -hmm. it had to be me. So. Probably I was 17, around, probably 17 when she found my journal, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dean, did you keep a journal? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. A journal, I got books to sell with it. I still got them. Don't touch them. Oh, Lord, <laughs> I'm going to have to pull up this journal and see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> we got a whole story for you. Got a whole <laughs> story. And one, one more quick question. You guys, that's what we're just talking about know, from your friends and stuff. How do you explain that to them? Because you're creative, and us creative people, we're very different. Like, our way of moving is very different. They look at it and they shut everybody out, mm -hmm. and you know, they kind of take up and so the house. Do you handle that? Because we're, we're, we're social people, so a lot of people grab yeah. and think, well, how do you yeah. do that? That's a very good question. Um, and I don't have a definitive answer for you because each project is different. So I go through different, you know what I mean? You're going to go through your different modes and your friends are just going to have to adapt to that. If they know that you're a creative person and they actually see that you're actually about your business and doing something that's, you know, worthwhile, they're going to get on board and be like, oh, okay, John is in his own or, you know, Dion is in his own right now. I need to leave him alone. They'll kind of pick up on, you know, your mannerisms, your responses to the text messages or what have you and just kind of adapt to that. You can't really, there's no really um, real way to navigate that particular portion of your create, creative process. People are just gonna, they're not going to understand it, period, no matter how you try to explain it to them. They're just gonna have to accept, okay, he's doing his thing right now. He'll come back right. to us when he's ready. Yeah. That's it. Right. Yeah. I definitely you. Well, I wish you nothing but success and, you know, in your future endeavors and things. Thank I can't so wait much. to get the book. So, Raheem, I know that you're going to get this information <laughs> so we can get the book or, you know, we're going to come for your phone line. So, we ain't got to do all that. <laughs> Look, man, you already know what it is. You know how we do over here. You already know it's fine time on the Raheem Brazil show. So, there you go. That's how we do it. All right, Dean. Thanks for calling. Stay tuned, all right? Oh, I hung up too quick. Sorry, Dean. All right, look. You told us how to follow you and everything. Yes, any last words? Huh. Any last words? <laughs> <laughs> be the best you that you can be. Oh, be the best you that you can <laughs> you be. Listen to what God says about you. Mm. Um, live your truth. You know, this life is too short. You only got a few summers left to live it. Mm -hmm. Don't give it away to anybody else that doesn't, that isn't deserving of your time. Be you, be true to you, and hey, let's push the culture forward. Okay, yeah. that's what's up. Y'all heard it here, live on the Raheem Brazil show. We were talking to author John Collins. Make sure y'all go get that book on May 26th. God ain't call me fag. Y'all heard it. God ain't call me fag. Up next, we're going to talk about the I'll push notifications. We got a little bit of celebrity news and things. Um, uh, Find out why Andy Cohen is getting a little <laughs> backlash of what he's been re been saying of Kim Zosiak being ganged up on. Um, Y'all going to let me know how you feel about that situation. You know, I never really like Andy anyway. Let me go. Ooh, that was crazy. Did that right? <laughs> <laughs>
got like that little skills over there, boy. Let me find out. Mr. Photographer. When did, when did you see um, 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 Angela Marie pictures? Angela Marie pictures. Mm. Look. Oh, you see that? Did I do? Yeah. 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 Oh, Mike got pissed off. Mike said, you should have paid for that photo. They use that picture. They use it. They did. Yeah. 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 And the Ryan, the more switch. Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? It's real dope. I like it. I can do more of that.